my biggest issue is that I'm forced to pay for something I don't believe in. So welfare, any of that, I don't believe in it, so I'm forced to pay for it anyways. Why don't you believe in welfare? Because it doesn't work. It doesn't work? But what nope, do you think? What do you think the goal of welfare I mean, is? Successful, it's successful in making dependence for people who rely on government the rest of their life. But people just they just exist. They don't live. Uh, so that's what I mean. It works in that sense. But oh, wait, if wait. you actually want to be amount to something, it doesn't work. Do you think that um, there would be more or less people uh, in dire straits financially with or without welfare? Um. There'd be more, more or less people in dire straits. Like, 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 fi 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 so, do you think that without welfare, there would be less people, uh, financially, um, financially, I, I, I whatever, bad off? I, I guess whatever the opposite of well off is. Well, financially stable, unstable. I would imagine, obviously. Wait, so without welfare, there would be. Oh gosh. Oh wow. I can't think today. Without welfare, you think that there will be less people financially in financial trouble. Like you think uh, welfare makes people poorer. Like, like poor people poorer. I think there's an argument to be had about the welfare keeping them poor. Um, how so? Because if you make too much money, you lose welfare. So people are incentivized to make up until that amount of money and then stop bringing more income in. So what you're talking about is the, um, is the, the steep drop cutoff of welfare, which is a problem with the way our welfare system is designed and not necessarily a problem with the, the, Welfare, it's, uh, the idea of welfare itself. So, like, I, I know well, what I you're. Mean, can you separate the 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 policy from the rules and state? Well, all you. Uh, so, what you would need to do in that situation is not say, "I want to get rid of welfare because of this." What you would need to do is say, "I want to reform welfare in this way because it would solve this issue that we are having with welfare." So, like, for example, if you have a system set up to where if you make one dollar over, let's just say, ten thousand dollars a year, you now lose two hundred dollars worth of welfare. Um, yeah, that would incentivize people to not make that extra dollar. Uh, but if you had a system that when you make that extra dollar, you're only losing one dollar of welfare, then there's not really an incentive to not make that extra uh, dollar. Or even if you had a system to where if you make that extra dollar and you're losing 50 cents of welfare, you're still incentivized to make that extra dollar. So you still have welfare, but you, you, you've set it up in a way that solves for that issue that you have with it. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. I, I, I personally, I'm okay with some welfare, but other other forms of welfare, I think, have proven themselves not to work. I think food stamps is a, a good example of a, a good welfare system. Uh huh. But at the same time, there's so much, so many things, you know, associated with that, like people selling their food stamps for regular money Something yeah like that. that happens for sure um i don't think that anything, I, i'm still gonna stick to the hill that i die on is boss mismanagement and corruption you know, just fucking throws away money There's so much money every single fucking year i believe it should be 100 percent strictly voluntary 100% voluntary. If we did a voluntary system, do you think that we would end up with enough money to be able to uh, poor people to, to the extent that the government is able to right now? Well, first of all, when it comes to that, I really don't care because, honestly, I don't, honestly, because I really don't care about that. Like, that's okay. not, it's not my priority as a human being to make sure that every single person has food. I only care about me. Okay, I mean, if that's your that's your deal, then that's your deal. I will never be able to convince you uh, that welfare is a good idea. I, I I'm glad that you bite the I don't care bullet though. That's that's awfully uh noble of you, I guess. 
I mean, so, I mean, if I wanted to help somebody, first of all, I would do it in a manner where it would make it better for that person, mm -hmm. not make it worse. Well, so welfare, welfare system, okay, so welfare generally does make it better for people. Not my, not, not the way I see it. Not the way I see well, it. Well, the way I see it as a person that wouldn't have had a, a food if I was a kid without welfare, I, I think it makes it better. So people who don't plan properly, people who waste their money away on drugs and bullshit. Mm -hmm. Or, how, 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 wait, 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 how about my mother, wait, 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 how about my mother who just didn't plan properly but wasn't really wasting money on uh, on drugs? She just didn't make so enough money to take care of us. That, yeah, yeah. Why is that my responsibility then? Because you live in a society that has people like this. And you benefit greatly from said society in other ways. Oh, I do though? I do? You, you do. do. Um, have you ever made, made the argument that you live in America, so you should just be happy. Um, the the poorest person in America is is um is better off than the richest person elsewhere. Um, if you ever made that kind of argument, you're making the exact same argument that I'm making right now, where you, everyone benefits from these um these institutions that we have in America that we all pay for. You just you're you're just so used to it that you you don't you take it for granted. Yeah, the issue is that we don't all pay for it. Statistically speaking, a small percentage of, of the population pays for the majority of the benefits. Well, the small per statistically speaking, a small percentage of the American population has a large amount of wealth uh, proportionately. And, and income. Because they so, stole it or because they earned it? A, well, nobody ever said, wait, hold on, you don't have to steal it. Um, make the argument that these people stole it, therefore they should be paying into the system more. Um, well, it doesn't matter whether they stole that. That question just doesn't matter. I think our, I think B Galb's argument is that they're stealing from him. Taxation is theft, I'd imagine, right? Yeah, Taxation exactly. is a is a fee to live in society. Like it's not theft. But but that that that's a philosophical. That's a philosophical. That's a philosophical. Why should I pay a fee to buy into a system that I have no say in? Well, you can. You, you, I'll make the same argument that that Trump has made when Trump won. You can move, like. If you're so if you're so wealthy that taxes are affecting you this much to where you 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 want to get rid of the entire welfare system in order to not have to pay them, then you are wealthy enough to move. Taxes affect people that are not wealthy more. The, like I want to get rid of the welfare no, system. Not, not, the not a, no, not I don't a, want to okay. get rid of the welfare system because the welfare system overly taxes me. I want to get rid of the welfare system because it overly taxes the poor. Well, the poor it generally don't. them of their future potential. No, 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 the poor generally don't pay taxes. You, you guys just made that argument. You're, you're, you're failing this to pick up what I'm putting down here, Chief. What I am saying is, is that welfare, by design, keeps poor people poor. If you take off the training wheels, they can ride their bicycle a lot faster. Okay, so explain to me the mechanisms in which welfare keeps poor people poor. Because I think I already just went through this and. Yeah, so well, one of the first one is, is I actually have close friends who are on welfare, mm -hmm. and part of the issue with welfare is is that the more money that they attempt to make as a household, yeah, I've already... the less welfare they get, and they lose more dollars in welfare than they gain in income, so which you... actually causes them to lose money as a collective net sum. Okay, yeah, no, I, I, I know this argument. Yeah. Um, I, were you not here when I explained to you how you fix that without getting rid of welfare? No, I wasn't here. Okay, well, I apologize then. Um, so the way you would fix that is not to get rid of welfare. The way you would fix that is to reform welfare in a way that it doesn't have that effect. So, for example, if you had a welfare system to where you made, uh, if you make, let's say, two thousand dollars a month, um, you, you get five hundred dollars worth of welfare for uh for that month, but then you make two thousand and one dollars, and now you make two hundred and fifty dollars worth of welfare that month, then yeah, that's going to incentivize people to to not make that one extra dollar. But if you made the welfare system to where when you make that one extra dollar, you only lose one dollar of welfare or maybe even 50 cents of welfare um, or 75 cents of welfare, you can keep the welfare system, but have um, have it not be disincentivizing people to make more money. Well, honestly, I think the way the system should be is you have a limited amount of time on that welfare. If you don't fucking find a job and get that shit taken care of on that, that time you have, then you shouldn't have it anymore. 
Mm -hmm. um, so what's going to happen to the children of the parents that, that have, um, or this depends on that welfare for housing and food? Well, first of all, of people who have children that can't afford children, one, they need to change their method with their means for living. It means they have to either buy a smaller house. Wait, wait, do you think, <laughs> what kind of houses do you think people on welfare are living in? I can tell you right now, living in Detroit, people live in houses bigger than their means. I'm sorry, but living in, in the Detroit area, they have these houses that are 800 square feet. They've got, you know, <laughs> more than enough room for three or four children. Okay, so That's so pretty damn good. So so what what good. about what about the people who who live in houses that have like a piece of plywood for a door? Well, I guess it would depend, right? Are they did, did they uh, did they lose their money in their house because they gambled or they were on drugs well, you, or or why do they have to be? Why why, why can't they just be people that are poor? Like, why do they have to be on drugs? Because we live in a system in a country where you can literally easily get out of poverty by just okay. getting a fucking job. Okay. Let, let, let's say let's say these people are gambling their money away, or whatever little bit of money they do make. Well, let's say 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 they do have uh, they do gamble. Then what what happens to their children? You take them away. You take them away, right. and 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 then what? We're 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 just we're going to be paying more into taking care of that child um, as a as a dependent on the state than we would be taking care of that child um, under their um, parents' household. I'm, I'm I'm more for paying for the child than paying for the parent. Okay. Yeah, um, I would agree with that. I would agree with that too. So okay, so we statistic. Okay, statistic. Taking care of children that are that are not. I, mean, being I would be against of. it in general. Because honestly, like, fuck that. Like, but if we were to make concessions, that'd be an area I can make concessions. But, okay, so statistically speaking, though, when you're able to keep a child with their parents, they just do better. Um, I, I, I learned this because I, I volunteer for some social work. Um, I, I'm not going to give the name of the organization, but I volunteer for some social work. And, um, and, and this is the thing that they taught us, that, that our, our goal in this organization is to try to keep the child with the parents. So we try to... If that parent is a delinquent drug dealer or smoker. Violent, yeah. So, so usually the way, so so the way these usually happen is isn't drug dealers. They're usually drug addicts, and we we try to help them um get give their parents a chance to get clean and everything before before we give their um the child back back. Um, and the goal is to keep them with their parents because if we are able to succeed in that goal, um, the child is going to do better. So if a parent just has like a gambling problem and, and they, they've lost money due to gambling, that's not really a thing that's going to detrimentally affect the child. We're going to spend more on on um, on taking care of the child on, in, in the, uh, on the system and the child's going to have worse outcomes. So, so you're, you're advocating for just like an all-around worse future. I think you're using children as a defense for people most, who wait, wait. just get money free. No, no. Most people who are on welfare have children. And so what does that mean to me? What does that mean? Well, well, you can't say that I'm just using children as a defense, uh, as if like this will not heavily affect these children. Like, like the, the, this is the, the big reason for welfare is because we want to take care of these children, and and th this is a much better way of doing it than whatever you're advocating for. Well, if you really cared about the children, you wouldn't be giving these people free money for them to squander it away. Well, well, usually they buy most most of the time people use this money to buy their children food and like school supplies and such. They spend maybe five percent of it on food and the rest of it on themselves. I know this shit. I mean, this is not news. Okay. Okay, um, all right, let's, let's do this then. I go to the grocery store every day. I go to the grocery store, every time I go to the grocery store living in Detroit. Are you I about to, wait, people. are you really about to give me an anecdote? Uh, how is it an anecdote if it happens every time? It's because you're the only only person reporting. The only people who go oh, to the grocery oh, store, the only, the only person who goes, the, the, the only person who goes to the grocery oh, store, what? the only person who goes to the grocery store and sees all these people using EBT cards on shrimp and steak are, are conservatives that want to get rid of the welfare system. That's really weird to me. No, no, no. <laughs> Living in Detroit, you see that shit on a common basis where they're sitting there and they've got these 
Gucci purses and these fucking fancy earrings mm-hmm. and these and these uh, Dodge Chargers and these fa- the, uh, outfit dressed to the nines and and uh, fake tits and all this shit. Yeah, and they're they're obviously spending that shit on their children. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, because you can spend. Definitely. Okay, yeah. Uh, um, you have nothing. I'm sorry. I'm I'm done with this car. You had nothing. Neither do you. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yours is all Agnet Dunks too. I, I first of all, I haven't provided any any evidence, but at least you I'm not trying to. Anecdotes. I work with children, and I, and I see it happen every day. Children wait, wait, hold on. Yes, yes. So, so the thing, the thing that I mentioned was the idea that leaving, um, that that keeping kids with families tend to have better outcomes. That, that that's a, that's, a thing, that's, drugs, that's that's a thing. That's 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 a thing that was taught to me as a part of my training to work with children. Ah, so who, who are getting taken gotcha. away? No, no, gotcha. it's not anecdotal because they're they're not basing that that off of anecdotes. They're basing that off of studies. And I'm not basing mine off anecdotes. Yes, there's you no. are. You're basing that off of no, what you not. saw. I'm not the only did you did you read the studies? Did you read the studies, or did you just trust that they read the studies? Yes, I trust that this organization read the studies. I trust the organization read the studies more than I would trust that that he's constantly seeing people on food stamps uh, buying steaks with fake boobs and driving Lamborghini. Lamborghinis. Like, yes, I trust that they read the studies way more than I trust that that guy is accurate in whatever he's trying to spout off over there. Well, how about this? There's a study that found that the average monthly rate of participation is about one in five. The so average? One in five people. The average? Use, oh, go ahead. Explain well, that. that. 52 million people received assistance every month. Damn. My follower rate went way the fuck up. Wait, so you're saying that that 52 million the the participation rate of welfare is 51%, right? That's what you're saying? Um 1 in 5 people, so 20%. Oh, 20%. Okay, so million people. So what what is what is the point that you're trying to prove with this? 10% of 10 10% of our of our welfare social safety net. I, I agree. <clears throat> Hold on, let me turn you up real quick. You're kind of quiet. One in five people. Is, well, um, accurate or tenable for the future? It's po- It's probably accurate if you're getting it from a, a um, reliable source. Uh, I would assume that it's accurate. Um, is it tenable for the future? Probably, yes. Uh, we've been doing it for a long time now. Uh, I, I don't see why we can't keep doing it should we need it uh, i would prefer to be able to get people off of welfare by like supporting unions and and getting people higher wage jobs um and of course there's uh, the whole um fa- family planning re- um, responsibility um aspect of that too um but yeah I, I i don't think that saying that we have a lot of people on welfare is a good argument against welfare because my argument against that would just be well that means that if you get rid of welfare a lot of people are going to suffer well, i could say it this way before we had a welfare state what do these people do they these died people on the are, street uh, are, are, so are we are we extinct? Are we dead? Are uh, I mean, is the human race screwed? Yeah, well, no, no. Mind? Before there was a welfare state, people lived in poverty and died earlier and died more often. Okay, so so what does that mean to me? That means I should fucking just give up forty percent of my pay so that people can barely live. Just all they do is survive. If you're uh, actually get listen, if you're actually giving up forty percent of your pay, that means you're in a tax bracket that makes me not care that you're get, uh, giving up forty percent of your pay because uh, you're, you you're, you're still because you're still taking you home an extravagant care. amount of money. Ah, uh, so you don't care, but you expect me to care. <laughs> well, I don't care about you because you're already taken care of. I expect you to care about people that aren't taken care of. That's how that works. So yes, because I'm because I'm taking and I'm care of people. Well. I need I, I I need to care. I need yes. to care. If you're in a society, if you're in a society that you're able to get so wealthy that you're making you're you you're giving forty percent of your pay to a progressive tax system like America's, um, then yes, you have to care about the people in that society that yeah. it, it isn't so lucky. Nope. 
Because I can tell you right now, I see some guy in the street. I don't give a shit whether he lives or dies. I really don't care. I know you Honestly, don't. don't. That's why I can't. That's why shit. I can't convince you of welfare. I know you don't. Like, that's why this. That's why I, I'm done. Okay, well, I'm done with this conversation because I can't convince you because yours and my morals so just up. don't you align. Got it. You lost. You lost. They got it. Okay. Good. <laughs> Not a guy with his virtue signal, like he actually fucking cares about people and it's bullshit. He doesn't give a shit. Okay. <sighs> anyway, um how's everyone Obviously, doing? He doesn't care about me, right? So honestly that's just all bullshit that he cares about people.